Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a luxury haul for you today. And this haul is a little bit of everything. I have some ready to wear, some shoes, some accessories, and even some beauty and fragrance. And I'm very excited about one item in particular because I have been trying to get something from this brand for so long, but it just was so hard to find something in the size and color and style that I wanted. And fortunately, Farfetch was able to come through. This video is not sponsored by Farfetch, but I have been working with them for a long time and they have very generously provided another promo code for you guys to use. It's a heated mess at checkout and it will save you 10%. I believe for 30 days from today's date. Everything I show in the video will be linked below. But what I love about Farfetch is that they partner with stores all over the world, boutiques in tons of countries outside of the US. So if there's something you're looking for that is maybe sold out in your local department store, you most likely will be able to find it at Farfetch because they work with all these different stores in all these other countries. They take care of all the taxes and customs and duties and fees at checkout. So you're not surprised with additional fees when you receive the item. I've ordered from Farfetch a ton of times. Everything's calculated at checkout. It is, uh, you're good to go. You're not hit with any surprise customs when you receive the item. And they ship pretty fast. It tracks easily. I've placed orders from Farfetch that are fulfilled in boutiques in Europe and they have arrived faster than stuff that is shipped from California. So their shipping is very reliable and they have tons of options. So if there's something you're looking for that that you just can't find, check it out. Farfetch will more than likely have that exact item or something very similar that they can suggest. So with that, the first thing I wanna show you is a pair of Amina Mawadi shoes because I have been on the hunt for a pair of Amina Mawadis for so long, like years, and I just couldn't find it in my size or in a color that I wanted or in a style that I wanted. I'm very particular about my shoes. Might be kind of lean towards wide. So I can't do anything with really super strappy straps in the front. I really need the sides of my feet to be hugged <laughs> tight because I just find really strappy shoes to be uncomfortable. And I was finally able to get a pair of Amina Mawadi. So I will show them to you here. I'm very excited. I went with half a size up. I usually wear a size 36 and I went with 36 and a half. Here is the really beautiful dust bag. It's like a really nice satiny silky dust bag. I kind of wish that they included two, but this is a really wide dust bag. So you definitely can fit both shoes in here. It had a little thank you note from the boutique where it shipped from. This came from Chucky's in Brooklyn, New York. So actually not that far. And here it is. I love these. So I got a pair of Amina Mawadi Gilda iridescent gold mules for my very first pair of Amina Mawadis. The 36 and a half is a great size. Again, I wear a size 36 normally, but my feet do run a little wider. So it's very comfortable in the front. And then you have this little strap here that's on an elastic little bit right there. So it really hugs the top of my foot nicely, like not too tight, but enough so that I feel comfortable that it doesn't slip off. Here is the back and I just love this. What do they call it? Martini heel, super comfortable. I'm used to wearing Louboutins when I wear heels. I used to wear them in the office all the time. And I mean, I thought they were comfortable, but these are so stable. And I like that it's a little bit of a lower heel than what I am used to when I wear heels. So this is the gold iridescent. Look at that. It is such a cool color. It kind of goes with my little unicorn nail there. So I love that it's the this neutral gold color. But then you have these multicolored jewel crystals here at the edge and then on this strap. I think this is such a beautiful, perfect first pair of Amina Mawadis. These can go with so many of my different bags. I have my Chanel 19 right up there hanging on the door in like an iridescent pink, pinky beige that this would really go with. Or if you just have any other neutral color or because it has all these different multicolor stones here, I mean, it can really pull a look together if you have another bag or any other outfit in any of these colors. I mean, it just can go with so many things. So excited that I was able to find my first pair of Amina Mawadis. These are so hard to find in your size. They, I guess, just do really limited size runs when they come out with a new style. So whenever I do find something that I like, it just has been so hard to find it in my size. And there have been so many times where I saw this online from a different store and I was like, okay, great. I'm finally going to be able to get my first pair of Amina Mawadis. And then lo and behold, when I go to purchase it, it's in like a size 39 or in a size 41, like just something that just would, I can't even make it work. And so I just was being patient. I didn't want to settle for a color that I didn't really like or a style that I didn't really like. So I just waited and waited. And finally I was able to find it at Farfetch in my size. So my first pair of Amina 
Moati shoes, but definitely not my last pair. And then sticking with the crystal theme, I got a new bag from Benedetta Bruzecchi's. You guys, I love, love her bags. I already have a few and I just have to get another one. <laughs> I wanted something in this color for a while. So I was super excited when I saw that it was on sale at Farfetch and I just had to pick it up. By the way, the Benedetta bags, they come wrapped up in these boxes and I'm not gonna wrap it again, but it's wrapped up in a little bow and this ribbon is literally attached to the box but it's like you're opening up a little gift box always. So I save these boxes and then I tuck the ribbons in on the side, but you can see here it's attached to the box there. And I got a, this bag. So here's the dust bag. There's the little Benedetta logo. It actually is a similar color to the Amina Mawadi, but I got this. <laughs> this is probably the most unique bag in my collection now. I got the Benedetta Casper Crystal Evening Bag. Isn't that so cool? My kids love this bag because they, they go like this. I'm like, oh, it's so soft. So here you have this just sheet of crystals. This is in the color Purple Echoes. Even from here, I don't have the best lighting right now, but look how sparkly that is. It's like this beautiful purple iridescent. And look how it is next to the Amina Mawadi Gilda shoes you got a little bit of the pink purpley pulling through and the gold this is just so cool i love this little handle so cool it's so different again i have tons of big bags this does not fit my phone but that's okay <laughs> here is the top and the way this opens is this little tab lifts up it hooks into this thing here it's like a little kind of a magnetic opening so when you open it up here this opens this way and that is the space you have in here. Here's a little Benedetta tag right there. And then what I love about these bags, all her purses come with this comb that says, you are beautiful, what a nice reminder. So here it is. And if you can see, you lift up the skirt. That's how much space you have going in here. Not a ton of space. Maybe you can fit a few cards, your keys, not a phone, <laughs> but it just is such a cool statement bag if you are walking a red carpet somewhere or wherever. I have another Benedetta bag that I wore on my vacation a couple months ago, and it is the most complimented bag. It's the Vidi Le Mignon, I think, it has a little flap, and I got it in the dune color, which is like an iridescent beige. Walking along the resort, I was getting stopped and literally complimented on the bag and asked who makes it, where I got it from, and I told them it's Benedetta Brusecchi's from Farfetch, but I'm very excited about this. I don't have a purple bag in my collection, so look at that. The, the color just changes so much. I love the colors that she comes out with every season. There's just different colors. And again, this is Purple Echoes and it's very, very pretty. And it's got the purple lining, like a satin lining. So I'm very excited to go out and use this with my new Amina Moati shoes. Another little kind of a dressy bag is from the brand Cara. And this might be considered a lower price alternative to Benedetta. And it is this, it's called the armpit bag <laughs> because you literally wear this over your arms and it just kind of gets snug into your armpit, right? So this is two-toned. It has this lilac color, which it's a little lighter than the Purple Echoes bag from Benedetta and it's not as iridescent. This is a very light lilac color. And then the back is red or like the back, you know, it's, it's dual-sided. Here's a insert, take this out. But when you don't have anything inside, it is very floppy, very like hobo mesh crystals. And by the way, the dust bag that it comes in is this. It's a little tote, which I think is really cute. So you can just use this on its own. It says Cara right there. So if you love the look of those crystal bags, this is a kind of a lower price alternative. And they do go on sale. I think this one was also on sale, so I will link it below. But I really like this and I'm considering getting this in another color. They had it in blue, like a solid blue, which I really like. But I like that this is kind of a two-tone option. So depending on what I wear, I can pair this with a bunch of different outfits. This is also a little more of a casual style than the Casper bag, but those are the two. You can see the difference in color. Very different, very beautiful in their own little unique ways. And then for the last bag in this haul, if you have not checked out my Fendace videos, check those out because I tried on a couple different bum bag style bags that they had in the Fendace collection, which I ultimately passed on because I didn't like the designs of them. I just was like, I really want a bum bag. <laughs> like I wanted a Versace or Fendi or Fendace bum bag. And so I ended up getting this from Farfetch. This is by Versace Jeans Couture. And it is just exactly what I wanted that the Fendace collection didn't have. 
So this has my favorite part, this zip pocket back here, which is where I would keep my phone. It is black. It's like a sporty, rugged kind of a material versus the leather or I think it was silk of the other Fendace bags that I tried. Here's the zipper pull, by the way. The Versace Jeans Couture collection, by the way, is kind of a lower priced brand under the Versace umbrella. So this bag was, I think it was about less than 200. And then I got it, you know, with an additional, I think they had another 10 or 20% off. So I'll link it below, but it's very, very affordable versus the $1,000, $1,100, $1,200 Fendace bum bags that I was trying. And I just love this style. I love that it has that pocket back here. It is very casual, which is just how I wear my bum bags. Very casual. It's got this little sports strap. And here is the zipper. And even the zipper is very easy to open. It's a kind of a wide sport type zipper. So it's less likely to get snagged. That's it. Just your basic clip back here to close it. And then inside it has another zip pocket so you can keep whatever cash or cards in there. And then here is the inside. And then you get kind of a basic white dust bag with this one. It just says the Versace Jeans Couture right there. But this is a great affordable alternative. If you're looking for a Versace or Fendace bum bag, check out the Versace Jeans Couture. I love this style and the material and everything just works more for my lifestyle. Even this belt buckle, I just realized is very heavy duty metal. So it's not like a cheap plastic. This is super cool. I cannot wait to start using this. I actually wore my Prada. I took my kids to Legoland recently and I wore my Prada sling bum bag throughout the amusement park. And it was such a great choice because I had my hands free, but I didn't have this. I think next time I would bring this little bum bag this is a great amusement park bag if you uh, have kids or if you don't have kids. So that's the Versace Jeans Couture bum bag. And then speaking of Fendace, I got my final piece of Fendace from their collection. It was shipped separately and it wasn't in the Fendace shopping bag. I guess they have started to run out of the Fendace bag. So it came in a Fendi bag. It came in a Fendi box, <laughs> but it does have the little Fendace logo and i did mention this in my last fendace video but it didn't arrive yet but i got the fendace rappi in white so here it is in white and it's a solid white on the back but then the other side has that same logo but then it's got a little bit of the baroque pattern with the yellow and then it's kind of mixed in with pink they actually did offer it in pink but it was a solid pink on this side i opted for this color because i wanted to wrap my white Birkin handle in this. I just think it's so cool. This totally goes with the gold and then you have the little ends sticking out. So I'll do another video. I've done a video showing how to tie a twilly around a, a bag handle and I might do an updated video to show how I tie my Hermes Birkin with the new Fendace Rappi. Some of you guys said not to mix brands, but I like to mix brands. I can't live my life loyal to just one brand. I like to mix them. So that is the Fendace Rappi in white. And then I got a little something from LV and it is their fragrance in their fancy little shopping bag. So their men's fragrances, some of them come with a very limited edition special design packaging. This is one of the newer fragrances. It's right here. It is called City of Stars. And this is technically part of the men's collection, men's fragrances. I mean, I think they call it unisex, but it really like it's located in the men's section, at least when I've been there. So if you guys don't know this, I love LV fragrances. My favorite is Afternoon Swim, which is definitely part of the men's collection. But I just love all these like aquatic fragrances. So the City of Stars, this is actually not brand new. This came out maybe a couple months ago, but the store's engraving machine was broken. <laughs> so I waited for them to fix it before I ordered it so they could engrave my name. So here it is. Again, this is kind of in keeping with the, is it California Dreams, I think? And then On the Beach are also part of this limited design packaging with a, their own little shopping bag. So here's the fragrance. The inside packaging is the same white cylinder. And here it is. So here's the bottle and they did engrave my name on there. City of Stars. This smells very similar to California Dream. It's uh, an aquatic, like citrusy fragrance. The notes are blood orange, lemon, red mandarin, bergamot, and lime. And so it's very citrusy, very almost kind of fruity, but like a masculine fruity. This definitely smells like a cologne to me, but 
I really, really like it. So that is City of Stars. This definitely complements the On the Beach and California Dreams and Afternoon Swim. This is more similar to California Dreams, I think, but just a little more citrusy at the top of the LV fragrance. If you're not familiar with LV fragrances, they have this magnetic little top. You can get an engraving in the front. And what I love about LV fragrances is that when you go through the bottle, you can pay less for a refill rather than buying a brand new bottle. And I've done that a couple times already with Afternoon Swim, which is my favorite LV fragrance. I've had it refilled a couple times already, but that is the newest City of Stars by LV fragrance. And then the final item in this haul today is from Hermes. I got something for the beach. When it arrived, I was like, oh my God, I can wear this like all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. I linked it when it arrived and I tried it on and I think it's sold out. I hate the way that the Hermes website, if something sells out, it they just remove it from the website. You can't even see it anymore. But if it comes back in stock, I will let you know. So follow me on Instagram, by the way, it's at a heated mess. Whenever there's a sale or deal or some kind of an exclusive item that is not available, I will post in my Instagram stories. They are a lot faster than I can put out a YouTube video. But I got this Hermes yachting robe and it may look like just a terry cloth towel to you. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it, but it is so comfortable. It's so cute. Here is the bottom. It's got a little frayed edging. It really kind of does look like a beach towel. It has these two pockets. It's got this Hermes logo in the front there, and it is just so comfortable. And I love that it is a cropped length. Like it's not super long. It's definitely not like a bathrobe or anything, but you can lounge around in this, but you can probably, and I would definitely do this. You can wear this like out. I would. I mean, I would in the summer. If you have like a shorter outfit, this is a great bathing suit cover up. And it's a great, almost like a long cardigan. There's the back. This is just so cute. I love this. I've never seen this before. I was randomly looking up Hermes ready to wear and I don't normally buy Hermes ready to wear, but this was just, I couldn't pass this up. Okay, I just have to try it on for you. So I'm just wearing this crop top and shorts from Urban Outfitters, but this is it. This is the robe. So you can just like walk around with it like this, almost like a sweater and the back. And the front, so if you want to loosely tie it, you still have these pockets. <laughs> or you can just tie it up like an actual robe. And that's it. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. So my new Hermes yachting robe. I don't anticipate going on a yacht this summer, but if I do, I will be ready in my Hermes yachting robe, but I will most likely wear this around the house. I would consider it an Hermes backyard robe, an Hermes couch robe. <laughs> But that is everything that I picked up today. I would say I am super, super excited about my first pair of Amina Mawadi shoes in this gold iridescent. Again, I think this is still available. I think the sizing is very limited at this point. Maybe there's like one or two sizes left. But if you use my code, a heated mess at Farfetch, you will get 10% off. And everything else that I have shown you will be linked below. There are some brand exclusions with the Farfetch code. And I think this Hermes robe is not available, but if it is, I will link it below. And if it comes back in stock, I'll post it in my Instagram stories. So follow me on there. But I hope you enjoyed this little luxury haul today. Thank you so much Farfetch for partnering with me on this video and sharing a new promo code for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.